where are Palestinians supposed to go if the Israeli government is just bombing every single place in Gaza? How are they supposed to be protected in UN shelters if the Israeli government is just going to bomb UN shelters? Israel listening to the U.S. suggestions to not blanket military attacks in Gaza and to focus entirely on Hamas while trying to avoid killing civilians. It is the biggest critique of Israel from other countries. Vice President Harris also sounding that alarm. Meanwhile, Israel expanding attacks on Hamas in southern Gaza and urging Palestinians to leave some areas. War. Here's Josh Oniger. The war effort has tonight moved south, where nearly two million displaced Gazans have already had to flee. Many now forced to move again. Satellite imagery shows Israel. Yeah, the Israeli government tells people to move to one place for uh, a humanitarian zone or shelter, and they just start bombing that place uh, because they know it's saturated with people. Israeli military resources massing near Han Yunus, a city of 200,000 people, which the IDF says it plans to encircle and eradicate Hamas strongholds within. We want civilians not to be in the area where we're fighting. We want to focus our firepower on Hamas and Hamas only. In the north. Yeah, if that was the case, why are so many innocent Palestinians dying by the IDF if they were just going after Hamas? I mean, can the Israeli military actually, you know, say some good lies. Be at the commencement of, of operations, you saw them uh, ask or order more than a million people to move. Um, we've seen a much more targeted request for evacuations here where they, the Israeli defense forces have identified specific neighborhoods where they plan to conduct military operations and urged in advance of those operations the people in those neighborhoods to move. <laughs> But Hamas reported more casualties today, including many who flooded into overburdened hospitals in the south. Back in Israel, protests demanding the resignation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu after the intelligence lapses that enabled the Hamas invasion two months ago this week. 80 I mean, the Israeli government pretty much allowed Hamas to come in and kill a bunch of people. Isn't Bibi Netanyahu be in charge with like corruption and fraud. Six Israeli hostages were released during the ceasefire last week. Many of them, children. They looked like shadows of children, not like children. They looked like shadows. We heard again and again that Hamas were psychologically harassing them on a daily basis. Yeah, the same thing that the Israeli military does to Palestinian children. Yeah, the Israeli the Israeli government and us, they're pretty much the same types of groups. Just one is for Jewish supremacy and Hamas is for the supremacy of Hamas. You're not gonna go back. There is no Israel anymore. There is no way for nowhere for you to go back and nobody's looking for you.